Damage therapy with fiber actives in every product. Dove takes care of the damage. With nearly 750,000 teen pregnancies each year, the U.S. has the highest teen pregnancy rate in the industrialized world. But one national organization wants to lower those numbers with the help of a familiar teen mom. Bristol Palin has teamed up with the Candies Foundation as part of a new public service campaign aimed at preventing teenage pregnancy. Bristol Palin is here with Neil Cole, the founder of the Candies Foundation. Good morning to you both. Great to have you here. Thanks for having us here. I mean, this is actually your second year being a part of this campaign. Why is the message so important to you? Um, it's so important to me because I'm living it, and um, I just want to help educate others and um, mm -hmm. use Candies Foundation as the platform and just do that. And, and I know you're loving being a mom. We were talking about you now have a 15-month-old trip. Yes. Just an absolutely gorgeous little boy. You were telling Matt that he said his first sentence. What was that? <laughs> Um, I asked where my little sister was, and he just said, I don't know, just completely clear. Wow, he blows my 18-month-old. <laughs> He's not speaking in sentences yet. But, um, but, but you talk about the realities of being a, a teen mom and a single parent. How is that for you? Um, it's extremely difficult. I mean, I am his sole provider, and it's very difficult. And I think that uh, by me speaking out that it will help others, and it uh, mm -hmm. will put like a real factor to teen pregnancy. What if you had to give up personally in your life? to be a mom? Oh, uh, I don't even know where to begin. Pretty much everything. Um, lots of freedom and things mm -hmm. like that just because he does rely on me. Mm -hmm. But knowing what you know now being a mom, uh, you, would you do anything differently? Um, I mean, I wish I could be older and have him just so that I have a career lined up and um, be in a stable relationship mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And this is not an abstinence campaign, important to point out, but yet you do have a strong point of view on abstinence before marriage. Yeah, correct. Just for me personally, that's just the decision that I'm going to make. But what we're trying to do is just educate teens, and that's what's important to us right now. And Neil, as we mentioned, 750,000 teens become pregnant every year. I mean, the statistics are staggering, and you're seeing these reality TV shows on MTV, which are dealing with this as well, and, and trying to put a spotlight on these young moms and what they're having to deal with. How, how difficult is it for teens, and what, what do they give up, you know, the sacrifices that they're making? It's incredibly difficult for teens. And, you know, you can look at the teenager, but it's also look at the, the mm -hmm. baby and, and what, what happens with the baby after... He's born. Um, you know the the statistics are staggering as far as um, you know everything that happens with all stages of the generation. But but your point about the media, the media plays such an yeah. important role. We just did a study with Seventeen Magazine, the Candies Foundation, and we found out that teenagers are incredibly influenced by shows like Gossip Girl and Jersey Shore. Right. Um, so we need to have PSAs, and we need to have what MTV is doing with Sixteen and Pregnant to do the other side to show teens it's not glamorous. Um, right, it's, the, it's a hardship in a lot of ways. It's incredibly difficult, and it, and it totally changes your life and makes it so you can't have all the wonderful things that happen as a teenager. And you can be mm -hmm. a great mother, and just it's you have to wait. And, yeah. and the role that parents play is so important. At Bristol, do you remember having that conversation with your parents about sex? Yes, definitely. And um, you know, there's there's just so much to be said about that. I just think that. PSAs like this are just going to um, open mm -hmm. up more dialogue to be talking about that. Yeah, we hope so, definitely. And, and Neil, I mean, the, the message that, that teens certainly are getting, as you said, the media, you know, the, the influence, but when it comes to having that dialogue with parents, what more can we do besides explaining to them, you know, what you need to be doing? Well, I, having two teenage boys, yeah. I know how difficult it is to talk to teenagers. So what we try to do is talk to them through entertaining them with with wonderful celebrities and public figures like Bristol and, and we've done past work with hundreds of celebrities so we try to educate them and talk on a peer-to-peer -peer basis rather than preaching to them and telling them don't have sex we, we, we try to make them aware of the consequences and, and try to um, do it in an innovative way at the Candies Foundation. And Bristol I know you say you count yourself very lucky because you have a very supportive family so not a lot of teens can say the same though. Yeah correct um, and I think that's what this PSA is all about too is having your parents really help support you in every way. Yeah. Thank you so much. Bristol Pale and Neil Cole, great to see you. Give a little hug and kiss to trip for us, okay? It's just beautiful. Thank you. Coming up next.